Harry was driving his truck down the highway. Since childhood, he had been dreaming of becoming a driver and managed to fulfill his dream, despite the fact that he was an orphan. There were five days left before the new year, and the man was in a good mood. He was looking forward to meeting his girlfriend Rose soon. He was going to propose to her again. Soon he saw the lights of Chicago. He left the truck in the parking lot and hurried home. When he went inside, he saw a note from Rose on the table. It said that she was tired of living like this and was leaving for another man. It's hard to describe what Harry felt when he read that letter. It seemed to him that life had lost its meaning. So several days passed. He was drinking and trying to call Rose. However, she didn't pick up the phone. Soon he realized that only his favorite work would help him recover, so he decided to go on a trip that he had refused to take a few days ago. Holding the wheel, he felt confident again. On the way, he had to stop at a gas station. But when he got out of the truck, a gas station employee ran to him and asked for help. A woman was lying on the floor in the shop. She was holding her belly with her hands. She was pregnant. What are you waiting for? Call an ambulance! Harry shouted. I have already called them. Half an hour has passed. And they are still not here, said the frightened guy. Can you take her to the hospital? Harry immediately agreed and led the woman into the car while the gas station attendant was filling his tank. When the woman got into the car, she came to her senses for a moment. Robert, dear, what are you doing here? she asked Harry. The man decided she was a little crazy and did not answer. After a while, they arrived at the hospital. Seeing him helping the woman out of the truck, the staff thought he was her husband. Having handed over the woman to the doctors, the man went home. The next morning, he decided to visit his passenger. Seeing him, the nurse said, Congratulations, you have a son. Harry blushed and went to see the woman. It turned out that her name was Rita, and she really thought that Harry was her husband. The woman told him her story. Her husband, Robert, looked very similar to Harry. He was a successful businessman. Unfortunately, he died three months ago. He drowned when he went fishing with his partner. Rita did not believe the story of her husband's friend. She knew that he had always wanted to own the company. A few days later, he came to the woman's house and began to harass her. So she had to run away. So she ended up on the gas station. I'll try to figure it out, Harry promised her. First of all, he went to the orphanage, because he was surprised by the history of the existence of his double. It turned out that Harry really had a twin brother. He was adopted at the age of two. Then the man went to the company which previously belonged to his brother. Seeing him, the current owner of the company turned pale. This can't be true. I pushed you off the boat myself. I saw you drowning, he shouted. He had a nervous breakdown, which ended only thanks to the arrival of the police. Since then, Harry had begun to take care of his brother's wife and his nephew. They moved to live in his house, which was now full of joy and children's laughter.